So this week what I'm gonna do is slightly different. Now I have said that before and I've made different videos, but I can actually finally start making the content I wanna make in Ashes of Creation. And it's not just news from the live streams. Now to start off, as a lot of you know, I've been following Ashes of Creation for a long time. Over the past two and a half year, I built up the guild Nephilim. So what I'm gonna do with this series is I'm gonna do a playthrough. I'm gonna follow the journey all the way through phase one, all eight weeks weekends, our progression, and each weekend I'm going to recap and explain what we did, a full experience of everything you want to know in Ashes, an actual honest guild point of view, no bullshit, everything included. It's been so long that I've wanted to do this and just stop following the news, but also the channel will have many guides, many wars, loads of crazy things with other content creators and other guilds going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in what were my first impressions of the game, the systems and generally just how the weekend played from a new person coming in with a non-biased view and just explain my honest opinion on that. So obviously we were in day one because I have the Voyager pack and I wanted to get in as soon as possible to Alpha 2. We have a lot more guys coming in for the A but you know till then we were utilising the two weekends hoping for no wipe and just really trying to progress as solid as we could. When it comes to time spent on the game we had guys on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We had guys in the queue till 4am the first day who didn't actually start till 4am. We even had guys that didn't sleep all Friday or all Saturday so it was a bit crazy. So we definitely have the hardcore guys that were just totally sleep deprived and then we had some guys jumping off for six hours sleep which to be fair is more on my vibe i think you need to sleep especially if you've got kids family and work we went fairly hard we were very organized and we had a set goal we wanted that node we wanted mere and we really wanted to achieve leveling and just really enjoy the game and, and it is our plan to fully utilize phase one to just quality control our members just become a better guild and really just test and give that feedback to intrepid so our main aim of the week Weekend and the first test was to go in, get the guild started and be one of the first on our servers with a guild and get it up and running. Now it does look like we were one of the first to get the guild up and running within I would say maybe an hour, maybe less, I'm not entirely sure, but we kind of knew what we were going to do, we'd planned, we got the guild rapid. Now at the time we didn't really know if we'd have any real benefits or what the guild would consist of. It is kind of placeholder, but we wanted all our guild members in the guild ASAP so we could start raid partying and we were just kind of tracking stuff and that's what we did so we straight away went in positive got our guys on had not many issues we worked together we got that up and running and we recruited all our members that were online into the guild now the next stage was picking the node now we wanted to go for Jova for many reasons but we also knew it was going to be very competitive on a server where everyone was going on you could only get 9,000 people potentially if you were lucky on the free servers in EU now if you look at that there's only 15 nodes so that means 5 nodes were available so to become a mayor we knew it was going to be quite a challenge we knew folk would rush for it and we knew it was going to be crazy so our first aim was to hit level 10 to become a citizen of said node which we grinded out as fast as possible and then we had to go over and elect ourselves as mayors so we were some of the only people that managed to get to level 10 at that node and get ourselves put forward as mayors we did have a couple of people that did put themselves forward that wasn't planned it was meant to only be me putting it forward and we had another person test and then we had a few randoms jump up as mayor now luckily for for us we had enough people to vote me in and we had more and more people join as citizens and then what happened was they just voted for us we kind of organized the chat we were speaking in world chat we were trying to communicate trying to get someone running as we were about to get the mayor or the server was telling us the vote was going to end the server decided to go down it kicked us all from the server just before it and then what happened then was we had to log in but there was no notification of us being mayor or myself being mayor then when we checked i had become mayor we tried to use the Meoriel mounts because the next step was scouting utilizing the flying mount to kind of get a lay of the land check who the other mayors were and the other guilds unfortunately for us in jovia the raw mounts didn't work so my next plan was drop it delete it retry it just didn't work so i bounced around every single node and got all their Meoriel mounts and lo and behold all of them didn't work as well so that was one of the first bugs we encountered and it was one of our setbacks because we really wanted that mount to utilize it to our advantage we decided to knock it on the head and just you know take it as a bit of a setback continue cracking on and the next goal was to try and get some better gear make some gold so we could buy some better gear and then once we got 
got the better gear, it was back on the mob grinding, and we were also preparing to hold down a section if anyone came to camp us or pre kills, because we knew at this point people had started PvPing. In fact, when I first got on the server, I kind of been that high level. I just remember someone coming swinging at me like a madman. I ended up murdering him. I didn't go corrupt or anything, which was cool, but that was my first interaction with PvP. And if I'm honest, I didn't even really know how the flag button was working because it was just so crazy at the time. Everything was kind of a bit laggy and bugging. All in all, it was a really good start for us, and I was hoping it would continue in this way. So, what I can say to go a bit away from what our experience was, the character creator was fairly placeholder. There was a couple of sliders, but honestly, for Alpha 2 and early Alpha 2, I was fairly decent. You know, you had the genders and you had the presets. And the second tab had like a kind of height, weight, chest, arms, muscularity. The third tab in general was like skin color and texture. Then you had the tab for air. There was a couple of different choices. I'll be honest, some of them weren't the best, but it was like doable and it was fine for Alpha 2. But what I did is just make a default character and just get yourself on the fucking server. Oh, so you're going to end up in a fucking big ass queue. That's my advice. But if you want to make your character and you want to spend the ages, which I totally get and it's not that I do, you can do that, but just bear in mind you might get stuck in the queues. So what server did we go to? We went to Shoal and it's a fairly decent server. There was a lot of people there. There's many guilds there and it just happened some of our enemy guilds were there. So that just meant PvP for us and that was a, a, just a bigger plus. There they are. There's not a lot of them. Let's. Should we go? Where go. Oh, where, 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 where? Make sure that everybody's up. Are we focusing? Oh, they've got it. Kill them, kill them. Focus, Tomo. That's one. Yeah, Tomo's dead. Tomo's dead. Yeah, he's fucked it. He's next fucked. Next one's, next one's, next one's. Sorrows. Yeah. They're all yeah. fucked. Next nice, one's dead. nice, 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 nice. <laughs> oh, I got such a good fucking snare on them. Is there anyone a PK? Oh. Kill the PVE as we move in. I'm on my way. Oh, Get behind him. Fucking smash him. Fuck him up. Yeah, I think Why he did. Wrong? Oh shit, that's skeleton. Are we me. fighting all these purple people, yeah? I think yeah, so. we kill them. Night song! Yes! All in all, we were debating if we made the right choice, but then when we went in, we grinded it out, held it down, we got Mia, we started progressing, then we started seeing not only were our enemies there, that they had potentially two, three, maybe four alliances, and there was us on our own. That was fucking pretty cool, because I knew that was competition, I knew it was a way to test the guild, and I also knew we could get slapped, but it would test how people would react to losing, or if we won, but I'm not going to get too much into that now, because that's further down the line in the video, and uh, it was really it was really good content, no matter how we played out it was fun i enjoyed it and so did the rest of the guys i've seen many videos talking about server crashes while they were leveling in the church seven stars and stuff like that now we did get that early on but all in all they're doing a really really good job honestly i am highly shocked that they're doing this good now will the eighth be the same no it's going to be a bit of a shit show, I would imagine. There's a lot more people coming in, so you just better mentally prepare yourself. Get some good food. Get ready to have a banter when you're waiting in your queues with your guild and just, you know, take it as it is. And when you get on, really, really utilize this time. Now, if you're on this weekend, make the most of it because come the 8th, the server stability is probably going to go a bit sketchy and you're going to get less player time. So utilize that time to level. Utilize that time to get gear or utilize that time to do whatever the fuck you want to do, but make sure it's stuff that is kind of important and progressive or you might fall behind on your server but did this feel like an alpha test with alpha test servers no it definitely didn't feel like that i'm genuinely shocked that they could even pull this off now the ape is a real test for them if they manage to pull what they've done off here on the ape there is no doubt that this game is going to spiral more people buying alpha 2 more funding for intrepid more funding for development more positive exposure and this is exactly what intrepid wanted and us as guild support on the game this is exactly what 
we wanted. So guilds and guild systems, well, at the minute, they're very basic. What I can say as my feedback, 50 members for the guild is nowhere near high enough. Now, realistically, you can split your guild in two, call them different names, and it doesn't really affect because there's no augments, passives, or benefits of the guild as of now. You really have nothing. I would say increase that to 100 players, and I would increase that as soon as possible in phase one. I just think it's pointless kind of doing it as 50. I'm not entirely sure if it's some type of bugging game or if it's strange or if there's some issue. I wouldn't have thought so but if they think it's going to limit Zergen and allow more testing it really doesn't because all of us including myself and many other guilds we're just splitting it to two guilds but that's my two cents the one thing I didn't like and I think needs implemented is when you start an upgrade you've got to individually click them it's a bit tedious I don't think it's good make it so from your guild you can invite them to a party from the guild tab in your members section or invite people from that section to a raid it would make things much more efficient less tedious it's a little bit of quality of life maybe I'm asking for this a bit too early but that's another bit of feedback I think it's a simple thing to do and I think it helps out a lot we also wanted to test the combat and in my honest opinion from the overall general consensus of our guild and there's a lot of us it feels really good and the foundation to build off for alpha was very smooth so they're off to a brilliant start and from what I'm seeing with other content creators and guilds I think it's generally the normal consensus that it is really really good quality now the action camera is much better for melee classes which I played as a fighter and I really enjoyed playing as a fighter what I will say is I was using medium gear and now I'm switching to heavy and medium they definitely did feel a bit squishy and there was an issue there but obviously I know the classes aren't balanced which is absolutely fine so it is what it is but just a bit of a heads up on that so my arch type progression as a fighter now there is a good amount of skills for the first phase of alpha one I'm actually quite happy with it and it's not a problem the list of skills for the fighter that I use was blue Blitz, Lethal Blow, Brutal Cleave, Crippling Blow, Whirlwind, Rupture and Knockout. Now, how did the abilities feel? I personally liked them. I liked the animations. I didn't feel there was like too much lag or desync on it, but that was my experience. Honestly, did I have a favourite ability? Not really. I think the Whirlwind was pretty OP, especially with AoE when you had a massive amount of mobs. I also think Blitz was fairly decent as a gap closer, especially in PvP, or just genuinely trying to dash back backwards you'd bounce back to get some health and then you jump back into hit so yeah it was actually really good and i used the action combat all the time like just swing and use and left click to hit I, I liked it and i've got no complaints so far basing this off a fully launched game would there be a bit more critiques yeah definitely but for where we're at basing it off what we meant to base it off fucking brilliant intrepid's done an awesome job if i'm honest did i find any of the abilities useless or did i really track the damage no i didn't i had so much going on making alliances trying to get me here talking to the other guilds getting my guild on point having the plan sorting raids like just having fun work really real life craziness sleep deprivation i didn't really get to push my class i kind of got a basic vibe but the other guys in my guild that weren't doing all the crazy shit i've been doing were really supportive really helping you know hit me up with some good gear uh, they definitely had my back on things like that so this weekend is the test for me where i really want to work on the class and next episode i'm gonna have a lot more information of what i feel worked well but overall we were all fairly happy with the fighter anyone that was a fighter enjoyed it and didn't really have too many negatives I didn't feel like leveling was too slow, like yes, I know it's grindy, but in comparison to the games I've played and the way I want to play, I felt it was okay, I based it more on a long term experience of an 8 week. I thought the grinding was fine, and it was just slowing things down so we didn't all get bored and get to end game. I understood this was kind of what Intrepid wanted to do, they wanted to test this way, they wanted us to do server stability, and we know phase 1, the first 8 weeks are going to be heavy on mob grinding, once the end was dropped we all knew this so going in anyone that was whinging it just is what it is you've just got to knuckle down and while you're grinding just have a crack with you guys have a bit of fun learn your archetypes really just utilize it maybe get involved in some pvp but i enjoyed it it was good but yeah there was definitely times where it's a bit crazy we fucked up the pools we died the mobs are fucking brutal and some of them do one tap you but do you know what it's nice it's nice to finally have an mmo where you ain't fucking handheld where there's a challenge where you die by mobs and when you die you 
you lose a lot of resources. You can potentially have someone loot your bag. Like, this shit is so cool. And it just means you have to focus more. There's more of a challenge. It's more threatening. Exactly what Steven described to us about the level and experience or the game he pulled off. Now, obviously, this is an early iteration. It needs a lot of improvement. But my personal opinion, if you guys haven't got in yet, you will get that challenge. Now, if you're not looking for a challenge, you're not looking to get slapped by mobs and you want to go AFK and just not be arsed and kind of zone out and half ass the game like it's a mobile game, you are fucked coming into here. It is challenging. But all in all, if you've got a solid team, they'll have your back, you'll work as a guild and you'll smash it. So one of the main issues we did have while leveling is we couldn't get into the east part of the world. We were stuck in the west part of the world because in the east where all the best leveling spots were that we needed to get to that were outside of Jova. And then eventually when folk got in, I don't know if it was all servers, but it was definitely shawl, you were put in a disconnect loop. So for us, it was like, do we risk getting disconnected and not playing all day? Or do we just go back and do we head over and start farming that Agal estate? We knew it was going to be less XP and less effective, but it was the choice of maybe not getting back on the game or keeping playing. And we chose to take the hit and head over to Daragal Estates. What we did is we set up bigger raid parties. Now the reason we set up bigger raid parties because everyone was kind of thinking the same as us. Now if we didn't set up the raid parties and we didn't hold down the territory, other guilds were coming in and pushing us off. So it was either going to be we PvP'd them and we balanced it out with farmer mobs to not go corrupt, but the problem was if you go corrupt and you PvP in too much, the debuffs kind of fuck the rotations and the grind, so you really have to be careful with that. But we we managed to hold it down, we kept farming the mobs out, anyone that got in our way, we kind of were decent to them, we didn't fuck them up if they were smaller than us, and we let them have a little stake elsewhere, and it kind of flowed. But then there was some people that got in, that pulled mass mobs to you, it's quite annoying, and then if you flagged them, then they wouldn't flag because they deliberately wanted you to go corrupt, but even so, we took the hit, we killed them, and I went corrupt, and it was what it was. But yeah, we ended up having some really good PvP there, and it was quite enjoyable. So, some bugs and issues we'd run into. Well, there was a hole in the map and environment in the ruins of Cephalon, which meant one of the members fell under the ruins and couldn't get out. Not sure how that happened, we were kind of battling, a mount jumped over, next minute they got meshed and fell through. It's fairly common, I've seen this in actually full launch games, but it was definitely something we'll report on. Sometimes the camera would break and you'd see inside your head. This could be fixed by getting on your horse, but a lot of people were complaining they could only have the eyeballs, which was honestly fucking hilarious, because every hand's tripping out, we're trying to survive and someone's only seen some googly eyeballs and some weird shits going on, but to fix that, just jump on your horse and back off. Sometimes the horses would bug out and wouldn't face or walk the way the camera was looking. Another easy fix for this was to jump on and off or summon the horse out and then summon it back in but sometimes you just float off to the left and it would just be weird but like yeah it wasn't that bad it really wasn't sometimes the mobs would have green health bars for certain members of the group one of the tank abilities would change the tank into a massive untextured egg which was quite funny to see i've seen that a lot on videos but that was just another one sweat of the brow could sometimes really bug out when it came to handing in the blocks and sometimes if you try to drop everything and abandon the quest to reset it you could not then talk to the NPC to restart the quest without logging out and you had to listen to this guy going do you have the blocks do you have the blocks and after you listen to that so many times you wanted to blow your head off especially when you're seeing your guys progressing ahead of you and you were locked out it was so frustrating because it limits you because you need that mount now there is other mounts you can get but yeah that's definitely something that needs sorted but it is what it is we managed to windle around it after dying sometimes picking stuff up got a bit buggy so sometimes when you drop stuff once you picked it back up it was quite buggy you'd like pick all your stuff back up but then it wouldn't be in your inventory it would be invisible your bags wouldn't have anything in and then other times it was a pile of your own ash you couldn't get so you lost your loot there you had to re-log and be in the queue or when you got it back it disappeared now sometimes when you log back in you got it and sometimes you never got it back so shit was kind of just disappearing out your inventory now long term that's a big problem it definitely needs fixed because it slows you down and it is a little bit frustrating and when we had had the pvp we like killed folk got the pets like we got really good loot like hundreds and hundreds of glint and all this other crazy shit but then we die to a mob or sometimes it would glitch out and it wouldn't be there so it was yeah it was kind of frustrating and then sometimes you'd store stuff in a warehouse and that would disappear too in the town but these are just bugs that we had and what we report on but all in all first weekend was amazing we have got big plans for next weekend a lot more content coming on this series so do stay tuned it's gonna be more fun more action-packed and less reviewing more kind of 
of just a journey of our guild as we develop as a group of people as we grow within the game and we kind of try and hit these crazy goals we've got and really achieve that now what i will say is if you are looking for a guild nephilim is recruiting check out the eu recruitment forum posts check out the discord official post there join the discord put in the application can't guarantee you'll be accepted we are looking for quality people but we will be recruiting all through phase one our aim for phase one is really get solid with the communication hit our goals get the best quality members that fit with our vibe and we have a good explanation so anyone coming in understands what we're looking for now i've really enjoyed my experience let me know in the comments below how have you found ashes of creation alpha 2 first weekend of phase one do you think there's any books that i've missed tell me in the comment section and i can hit them up in the forums and add them to the post do you think it was as good as i'm making out or did you not enjoy it was your experience worse don't forget to subscribe for much more content coming and finally i can make the content i want so i'm really excited about that cheers hit that like button get the video shared in your communities get the word out there and let's just test the shit out of this game and enjoy ourselves and as always i really appreciate you watching the video and i'll catch you in the next one